Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we are doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 4, lesson 12, practice problems. Okay, here's the graph for one equation in a system of equations. Write a second equation so it has infinitely many solutions. Let's start out by figuring out the equation of this line. Slope looks like rise of three, run of four, and it's going down. So our original line is y equals negative three-fourths x and a y-intercept of 4 plus 4. Second equation, so it has infinitely many solutions. Well, infinitely many solutions means the two lines are right on top of each other. So let's go with slightly different. Let's mix it up a little bit. y equals negative 6 over 8 x plus 4. 6 eighths and 3 fourths are equivalent fractions. Same line, infinitely many solutions. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can fit more in one question. Second equation, whose graph goes through 0, 1. 0, 1 is right here. So the system has no solutions. Let me move my shoulder out of the way a little bit. There we go. Through 0, 1, and no solutions. Well, to have no solutions, we have to have the same slope. So the two lines would be parallel. Parallel means same slope. y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 1. Because that point means our y-intercept has to be 1. Ooh. Here's the tricky one. Second equation, whose graph goes through the point 0, 2. 0, 2 is right here. So the system has one solution at the point 4, 1. 4, 1 is right here, right? Which means if we have to go through this point and we have to go through this point, we need the equation of this line. That line has a slope of negative one-fourth because it goes down one over four. So y equals negative one-fourth x in a y-intercept of two, plus two. Okay, what have we got next? Create a second equation so the system has no solutions. No solutions means two parallel lines. So we want the same slope, different y-intercept. y equals 3 over 4x plus 6. You just need same slope, different intercept. Okay, what have we got next? Andre is in charge of cooking broccoli and zucchini for a large group. He has to spend all $17 he has, and he can carry 10 pounds of veggies. <coughs> Zucchini costs $1.50 per pound, and broccoli costs $2 per pound. One graph shows the combinations of zucchini and broccoli that weigh 10 pounds. The other shows the combinations of zucchini and broccoli that cost $17. Name one combination of veggies that weighs 10 pounds but does not cost $17. Okay, so we have to figure out which line is which. Um, weighing 10 pounds, well, this one, 0 pounds of broccoli and 10 pounds of zucchini, 
means this one right here is weight. And it said the other graph shows combinations that cost $17, which means this line is the total cost of $17 line. So if we want a combination of veggies that weighs 10 pounds, meaning it has to be on the black line, but does not cost $17, meaning it can't be on the blue line, we need a point that's on the black line but not the blue line. Let's go with right here. 9 pounds of zucchini and 1 pound of broccoli. Name one combination of veggies that cost $17 but does not weigh 10 pounds. That means something that is on the other line. Okay, let's go with this point that I kind of pointed at right here. Doesn't weigh 10 pounds, but costs $17. 10 pounds of zucchini, 10 pounds of zucchini, goes with one pound of broccoli. That would be $17, but not 10 pounds, that's 11 pounds. How many pounds each of zucchini and broccoli can Andre get? So he spends all $17 and gets 10 pounds of veggies. Well, for that, we need a point that matches both of these lines, which is this point right here. So that looks like six pounds of zucchini and four pounds of broccoli. Six pounds of zucchini four pounds of broccoli. The temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is related to the temperature in degrees Celsius by the equation F equals 5 ninths C plus 32. In the Sahara Desert, temperatures often reach 50 degrees Celsius. How many degrees Fahrenheit is this? Okay, so 50 degrees Celsius means we have to substitute the 50 in for the C. So F equals 9 fifths and our C is 50 degrees Celsius plus 32. Now, what is that? 9 fifths times 50 is 90 plus 32, 122. 122 degrees. 122 degrees Fahrenheit. In parts of Alaska, the temperature can reach negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. How many degrees Celsius is this? So for that, we want to know Celsius from Fahrenheit. So for that, that's a Fahrenheit degree. So we're going to put negative 60 in our F spot, in the F spot, equals 9 fifths C plus 32. What are we going to have to do to solve that? Um, get rid of the 32, subtract 32, subtract 32. Those will cancel. Negative 60 subtract 32 is negative 92 degrees equals 9 fifths C. Now, to isolate the C, we have to divide each side by 9 fifths. Nine fifths is 1.8.
negative 92 divided by 1.8, negative 51.1 degrees Celsius. Negative 51.1 repeating degrees Celsius. Is there a temperature when the degrees Fahrenheit and the degrees Celsius are the same so that C equals F? Use the expression from the equation where F is expressed in terms of C to solve for this equation. Okay, so we know F equals 9 fifths C plus 32. And we want to know where Celsius equals Fahrenheit. So if C equals F, we can plug in C where this F is. So we want to know the Celsius equals 9 fifths Celsius plus 32. Right now I see C's on both sides, so let's subtract 9 fifths C from each side. Those will cancel. Do it to one side, do it to the other. So now we have to do 1 minus 9 fifths, which is negative four fifths, because five fifths minus nine fifths is negative four fifths. C equals 32. Divide each side by negative four fifths. And C equals 32 divided by negative four fifths. Positive divided by a negative is going to be a negative. 32 divided by 4 fifths. 4 fifths is 0.8. 32 divided by 0.8 is 40. So what temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit the same? Negative 40 degrees. At negative 40 Celsius and negative 40 Fahrenheit are the same temperature. Okay, that's it. For this one, this has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.